good evening everyone it is quite late i am just about to head into a really hot bath um and gonna be doing my nighttime routine so this is basically what i do every night before i get into bed um how i unwind and you know feel a bit more positive um and then also i do get asked a lot of the time about my skincare what I use on my face, what products I use, um, and you know, what masks I use to keep my skin looking fresh. So let's get right into the video. So we've got the candles lit, lovely ball bath just to get nice and relaxed. We've got ambient sounds, um, ambient relaxations playing on Spotify, and this really helps me just cleanse all my negative energy don't really like being on my phone while I'm in the bath and just really refresh after a really busy day editing. Can not wait. So I use the Salt Scrub by Sanctuary Spa. Um, this is about £13 a tub, but I think I've had about five or six uses out of this already um, and it gets all of the top layer of the dead skin off ready. Hi everyone, so just get out of the bath, nice and relaxed now, so ready to chill. So first thing I am going to be using straight away when I get out of the bath is my S-Bar Restorative Body Oil. So my sister recommended I get this and it is quite pricey but it is the best body oil I have ever used. Hence why I only have the tiniest bit left. So I got this from Look Fantastic. They always have offers on. Um, so I am definitely going to be stocking up on another bottle this week. So and then i will be putting my moroccan oil in my hair so this is also from look fantastic and um, this bottle will last you like no joke six months you put two pumps in through your roots down through your hair so currently so excited to wait until i get my hair bleached again and then i'm gonna be getting hair extensions put in so definitely important to make sure when I do that, my hair is in really good quality. So a quick brush through of the oil, push it through the scalp and hair is all fresh and ready to be blow dried. Sometimes I don't blow dry it, sometimes I just leave it to naturally dry because obviously all the heat that goes on your hair, etc. So currently in my bathroom after I've um, I had my bath so I don't tend to cleanse my skin while I'm in the bath I tend to do that separately once I'm out a lot of the cheaper brands I do know tend to hold a lot of chemicals so I do try and if I can get um, something a little bit better so I usually go a lot with Elemis and um, that's the range that my course tutor did um, recommend to me when I qualified in beauty um, and she's really really experienced so from the past let's say three or four weeks i have been using some new products and i've definitely noticed the difference in my skin um the cleanser is the ren rosa cleansing gel that's what it looks like um you get quite a lot in there to be honest and it feels like it doesn't feel thick like it feels just like it glides on your skin and it feels like it's took all of the dirt out like i know sometimes with ones that I buy from the high street, I'll put it on and I'll be like, my skin still feels dirty. And then if I go to like use a wipe with toner, like there's still dirt coming off. So it's a bit annoying. You don't want to like waste waste your money buying cheap crap products and then you go and buy a better one. You've basically paid twice. So the ring cleanser. So this is what it looks like if you can see. So it's like a clear gel. And then it does foam up slightly as soon as you put it on your face. So if I rub it in, see what I mean? It gets like a little bit foamy and it smells lovely. It smells exactly like flowers. So get that all in the skin. So I've not long, about a week and a half ago, done a face peel. So skin is definitely sensitive at the minute, so you have to be really careful what you use on your skin once you've done a face peel. So I've got that all in there 
and then we're gonna wash that off. So next thing is going to be our toner. The toner that I still got a bit of cream there. So the toner that I do use is the Pixi Glow Tonic, and this is the first product I've ever used from their range. So I think I paid about fifteen pound. I think, and that's two hundred and fifty ml. But I will link all the products in the description. Um, it smells divine. Um. So so we've got our two cleansing pads that we'll be using so i've split one in half because especially when i'm doing my toner i find just wasting two is just pointless um especially if it's just because you're dabbing it on so we've got that on there oh, i love the smell of this and it's really like it doesn't sink in straight away so i'm just going to pat that onto the skin is feeling so so really really bright now with the let me just make sure that's all in there so i do get asked a lot like a lot a lot of work what i use on my skin i'm going to do tell people at the same time even if you are using like the best products you still need to have a good diet and be drinking a lot of water so obviously i've been having more treats in this lockdown but i definitely have been keeping my water intake up and i drink a lot of peppermint tea as well so if that's something you guys might want to try so like i said my nighttime routine is a little bit different to my daytime routine in terms of my skin um with your glow tonic you need to take into account there is five percent glycolic acid in this so obviously that is quite exfoliating um, if you didn't want to use a lot of glycolic acid, I know sometimes it can dry out the skin and um, just be wary of what are in your products, especially if you're like me and you do do uh, face peels. Um, and then what I'll go over that with is the Glycolic Fix Night Pads from Nip and Fab. So these are amazing. I've been using these for a couple of weeks as well. Everything is from Look Fantastic. Um, and they've lasted me ages. To be honest, they're not that wet. So they're like a little cleansing pad. So if you have a look, they're like, where's the camera? So they're like that. They're really thin, not very wet, so not much product on there. You literally take one of these, rub it all over your skin. So I do this every other day because of obviously already having my peel done um, and just get that all around the neck and I obviously do dermaplane my skin. Um, I am qualified in that treatment. I'm also qualified in microdermabrasion. So I do also dermaplane um, my own skin. So last thing to do now is the Pixi um, vitamin C serum that I'm going to leave. And I'm gonna have that on my um, skin overnight. So, the Pixi Vitamin C Serum, it's gonna come like this. Um, so it comes with a little dipper. And then what you can do, so a few drops, forehead, cheeks, chin, and then you do put it on your neck as well. I rub that in. So like I've got a really sore bit here from my peel. It's sometimes where it's like been on and the skin's really like sensitive. So in your vitamin C serum, it says on the box, brightening ferulic acid antioxidant protection strengthens and balances the skin so when it does go on your skin it's like velvety smooth so it's really thin product it's not like caked on i've had some night creams that honestly as soon as i put them on i feel like my pores are clogged um with this one i don't feel like that it's really nice and nice like it's nice like um what's the word 
consistency so really happy with the pixie range and to be honest i bought this off reading other people's reviews so i definitely one million percent be buying more products from so them. that comes to the end of my nighttime routine i hope this was helpful for anyone that is interested in any of the products that i have listed and um, i have not got a bad thing to say about any of them to be honest i'm really enjoying using them and my skin is feeling so clear and so fresh i am good really morning everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so ignore the mess i have just woke up so i've got the bed head going on but i like to keep it real we're not all like prim and perfect on here so today we're up it's bright and early gloomy day outside though um but we're basically going to get started with what i use in the morning so Moisturiser, your toner, your cleanser. Really, other than at night time when you're sleeping, I personally think that's enough for me. Um, I only tend to really have problems with my skin when I drink too much alcohol, which is why I've come out with these little spots from drinking, but nothing a water can't help with. So I will drink tons and tons of water today to try and like flush out and get a nice glow. Um, so thank you for watching my video. I will link all of the products in the description that I did use in the entire video. If anyone has any questions, suggestions about any of the products, do let me know and I'd be more than happy to review further products. So they are all from Look Fantastic. Um, go and check their website out and see what you think these are. But thanks for watching. Bye.